Hey everyone, it's Jill Celeste here with this week's Loud Woman message. And I want to talk about why you should count your blessings. Here in the United States, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving, which is a day to count our blessings and to be thankful for all that we have around us. And we're getting closer to the Christmas season as well. And there's even a Christmas song that says, if you're worried and you can't sleep, count your blessings instead of sheep. And so we hear about counting our blessings quite often, but I, I often wonder if we stop and think about why we count our blessings. Now, some people will say, count your blessings to sort of counter uh, or one-up you um, when you're feeling sad about something or feel like you're lacking something. And that's not really, to me, the best approach. We don't want to count our blessings from a place of scarcity. We want to count our blessings from a place of abundance. And this is where I really love the law of attraction because the law of attraction says like attracts like. So you want to be thankful for the things that you want more of, right? If you want more money, be thankful for the money you do have. Or be thankful for the job you have or be thankful for the clients you have. If you want more love, then be thankful for the love you do have. If you want a bigger house, then be thankful for the house you do have. You get the drift. These are wholesome, abundant ways to count our blessings. It's not coming from a place where there's other people who don't have that, which is of course an important uh, realization to have. But in the power of manifesting, we want to wish for things by being thankful for already having them. And then we ask to receive more. So as we get into the holiday season here, as you can see, I already have my tree up. Um, I want you to remember that as we think about being thankful, about showing gratitude, whether you are in the United States or not, whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, or no holidays. But this is an important time of year as we near the year, year end to be thankful and to count our blessings, but to do so not again from place of scarcity, but from a place of abundance so that what you're being thankful for, you know you will receive more of as you continue to count those blessings. So I hope this helps. If you're not a law of attraction person, that's okay. I hope you can still kind of uh, jump on that bandwagon and, and apply that to your own spiritual beliefs because I really think it's something that fits no matter what spiritual or religious beliefs you have. So until next time, I hope you have a great day. Know that I'm rooting for you and I'll talk to you soon.